Hey guys, so with all of the excitement around holiday makeup, new releases, holiday sets, and all the sales that come along with this time of year, I wanted to film a video talking you out of buying makeup that's tempting you. So the other day I asked you on my YouTube community tab to share with me any products that you need a little help being talked out of. I feel like one of my talents is being kind of that the voice of reason for people. Like I'm really good at talking myself and others out of purchasing things. So we're going to go through some of the new releases and some of the holiday sets that you said were particularly tempting you that you you know you probably don't need, but you just need somebody to give you that little pep talk to bring you back to reality and uh, talk you out of buying these products. So now I do want to say most of these are products that I have not even personally tried myself, so I'm definitely not going to be speaking to the overall quality of these products or anything, but I'm really just here to be that, that friend that kind of talks some sense into you and helps you save your money. So let's go ahead and get into these products. So Emma asked for me to talk her out of the new Odin's Eye Holiday Palettes. Odin's Eye is a brand that I really would like to try. They're an indie brand based in Sweden and they have a lot of really fun looking eyeshadow palettes. I haven't personally tried their formula, but I know I've heard a lot of great things. And the palettes in question here are the Merry Christmas palette and the Christmas Eve palette. And I can't deny that these both have a really beautiful, fun color story, and I do think that these colors could still be useful year-round, but here's the question I want to ask you if you are tempted by this palette. Be honest with yourself. Do you really think you're going to use a palette that has Christmas in the name any time of year outside of the holiday season? Maybe you would. Personally, for me, I don't know what it is as a psychological thing. If something is designated for a specific holiday, I'm probably just not going to want to use it any other time of year. This is how I talked myself out of the Clarity Halloween palette. I think it was called the Apocalypse palette. I I almost had my mind completely made up that I was going to buy that palette because I love Clarity, I love their shimmers, they have some multi-chromes in that palette, and uh, I was almost certain I was going to buy it, but then I had this like moment of realness with myself where I was just like, I know that I am not going to feel drawn to this palette outside of the months of October and maybe late September. But any other time of year, I, I'm just, I'm not going to be reaching into a Halloween palette. So I know, at least for me, a Christmas palette, it would be really fun to play with during December, maybe November, but otherwise, other times of year, I'm probably just never going to use it. So is it really worth buying a $44 palette or two $44 palettes that are so seasonal, that are so holiday based? So I would honestly say unless you feel like you're, you're genuinely going to use this palette all year long, I would say skip it personally. But it's a tough one, it really is, I'm not gonna lie. The next palette that Jenny wanted me to talk her out of is the new Tarte Maneater After Dark eyeshadow palette. This palette's been out for a little while, but it's been creating a lot of buzz. I think this is one of the first Tarte palettes that's really caught a lot of people's attention, and it does seem like Tarte is making a bit of a comeback recently. So this palette retails for $52, and it has 24 shadows, so it's a pretty large palette. And at first glance, this does look kind of like something different, a little unique. It's a very warm tone palette and a lot of mauves in here. So first thing I would say is cover up the green and the yellow in here and it really doesn't look like anything that special in terms of color story to me. When I look at this palette, I see quite a few repetitive looking shades and I think this happens a lot with large palettes. But I'm counting here one, two, three, four, five light pink shimmer shades. And sure, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're not all identical. I'm sure, you know, maybe they have different textures to them. But do you really need five light pink shimmers in one palette? I mean, that's like one fifth of this palette is just light pink shimmers. I also see a couple of very similar light matte shades over on the left hand side. The shades Lust, Enamored, and Charming. Those three, they look like they have slightly different undertones. Lust and Enamored are more pink, Charming is more yellowy, and then there's a matte white called Playful. All four of those shades, first of all, they're not going to be useful to you unless you have a, a fair, possibly medium skin tone. Those shades are all going to show up on your skin pretty much the same. I, I don't know about you, but I don't feel like I need to have more than one light matte shade for maybe a brow bone highlight or to set my lid if I want to, but I don't feel like I need four 
matte light shades in one palette. I would encourage you, if you're tempted by this palette, look through your collection first. Do you have any of the following types of colors in your collection already? A matte black, a matte light beige, a matte light pink, a light pink shimmer, and a light golden champagne shimmer. Chances are, if you have more than a few palettes in your collection, you probably already have all of those, which takes care of like half of this palette. If you answered yes to all of those, a good chunk of the $50 or so that you'd be spending on this palette is going toward shades that you already have. For me, I feel like if this palette had just been a little bit smaller and more curated, like if they had made this like a 14 or a 12 pan palette, I would have been a lot more tempted by it. Unless you are just, just starting to build your palette collection and you know that you wear warm, mauve neutrals a lot of the time, then maybe this palette would be worth it. But otherwise, I just don't think this palette is going to add a whole lot to your collection if you already have a lot of neutrals and warm tones in your collection as it is. Next, Peaches and Crepes asked me to help talk them out of the Natasha Denona Baby Gold palette. If you haven't seen this one yet, it is a teeny tiny little trio of eyeshadows. It comes in a little cute little ornament. This is $19, which I know for Natasha Denona, $19 sounds so affordable, but you're only getting three eyeshadows and all three of these eyeshadows look like shades that most of us, again, probably already have a million times over in our collection. And I would say, even if you only have one of these three shades somewhere in your collection, such as a deep matte brown shade, I wouldn't be able to justify purchasing this for 19 bucks. And also, I don't know if you've seen the little mini Natasha Denona palettes. They are tiny. They are we. So <laughs> these aren't like full-sized eyeshadows either. They're, they're little bitty ones. Unless you're looking at this trio and thinking those are like my three most worn colors. A medium brown, a dark brown, and a gold. Those three colors I wear all the time. This is, this is like my kind of signature everyday look right there. Then maybe it would be worth it for you. But otherwise, I just don't think it's that good of a value. And honestly, I feel like I would rather pay a few dollars more and get one of the five pans from Natasha Denona if I were going to get anything from her because at least those have some slightly more, to me at least, some more inspiring color stories with maybe some shades that aren't quite as common to see in like every palette ever. <laughs> but these are three shades that I just, I, I, I feel like $19 for these three tiny shadows. It's not, it's not that great of a deal when you think about it. So next we have a holiday set from Milk. This is their Lip and Cheek Champions Cream Blush Stick set. And this one was submitted by Kylie. And so this is a set of five full-sized stick cream blushes from Milk for $40. They say it's a $110 value. So you're essentially getting five cream blushes for $8 each. So I can't deny that is a pretty good value, but I think the important thing to think about with blush sets like this is you want to make sure, number one, that you're actually going to wear all five of these shades. Within this set, we have some really light shades, a couple of really deep and brighter shades. For me personally, I usually stick to lighter colors, so I probably wouldn't get a whole lot of use out of the deep colors in here, except maybe as lip colors, which you can use these supposedly on both your lips and your cheeks. But most people, I would say, are probably not going to wear all five of these colors on their cheeks a whole lot. You probably are going to end up gravitating towards just a couple of these shades. And then the other thing I think is important to look at is the colors that you already have in your collection. So Kylie says that she already owns at least 12 other cream blushes. So what I would say is throw a little swatch party, bring out all of your cream blushes, swatch them out and compare them to the swatches of these blushes and see which ones you actually already have a similar color to. You might find that only one or two of these shades would be adding something new to your collection. And it's important to keep in mind with blushes especially, Blush colors, you know, they look really rich and saturated in the stick, but you are shearing them out on your cheeks. So two light peachy blushes, even if they look a little bit different in the pan or in the packaging, on your cheeks, they're going to look pretty similar. So once you've done that, I, I would be willing to bet you're probably going to realize you already have most of these colors already. And maybe if there's just one of the shades that you feel like is, is really calling your name and that color would really fill some sort of void in your collection, then I would say to just buy that shade individually from Milk. You could get one for half the price of this set and it would be one color that you're actually gonna wear over and over. And also keep in mind that lipsticks, most lipstick formulas are basically cream blushes also. So 
go ahead and swatch your lipsticks out too and if you still feel like all five of the shades in this set are ones that you're actually going to use and they're actually going to add something to your collection then maybe it would be worth it but even though this is a really good deal and I know it's hard to resist these holiday sets especially when it isn't an actually pretty good value like this if you're only buying the set because it's a good value unless these cream blushes were already on your wish list and you already were planning on buying them even though it is a good value if you're not actually going to use and love and enjoy all five of these shades then I still don't think it's worth the money and there were a couple of other cream blush sets mentioned here in the comments as well the there is one from LYS there's one from Merit Beauty and honestly my advice is the same for both of those looking at the LYS one I do love the LYS cream blush formula I have the full size in the shade kindness I, I think this is a beautiful formula but look at these shades and ask yourself if these shades are actually going to work on your skin tone because for me even though $20 for three mini blushes it's technically a good value these blushes I can tell you are definitely very pigmented at least based on my experience with the shade kindness so at least for me this this cream blush trio wouldn't make sense because I know that those shades are just they're going to be too deep on my skin tone and so I would rather just buy one full size blush from them in the original packaging which does look a little bit nicer than the packaging you're going to get in this trio. I would prefer to just get one full size in a shade that I was already interested in to begin with. Last but not least we have the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Face Palettes. They are a limited edition face palette. Some of the shades within the palettes are permanent and some of them are limited edition. Quite a few people wanted me to talk them out of this one. So this year they did come out with three different shade options. One that's more meant for fair skin, one for medium, and one for deep skin tones. So that's great because in the past I know they've gotten quite a bit of feedback uh, and pushback for not offering much of a shade selection at all and really catering more to only light skin tone. So it is nice to see that they have expanded their shade offerings finally. So this is an $85 face palette. You get six shades within it and the size of the pants in here are the same size as any of the mini hourglass powders so you're essentially getting six minis for $14 each if you break it down like that but for me the thing with face palettes is a lot of the time I don't end up actually using every shade in the palette so the question you should ask yourself is if hourglass sold all six of these shades individually for $14 each would you buy every single one because if not, I feel like it's not worth it because let's say you only end up liking or really using like three out of the six shades in here, you, you hit pan on them, you use them up eventually, now you're stuck with just three shades that maybe you don't use. And the other thing, if you're interested in the light version specifically, this has two of their lighter finishing powders, Ethereal Light and Diffused Light. Those two shades, I can guarantee you they're going to look basically the same on your skin. I just, I don't see how those are going to look very different. These are very, very translucent finishing powders. I did used to have diffused light. I personally ended up decluttering it because I just, I didn't think it was anything that special. It was, it, it didn't do much for me. But just keep in mind those two shades, I, I kind of wish, I, I wish in this lighter version they would have put a bronzer in too to replace either one of the finishing powders or one of the blushes because the two blushes in this light version, the moth one, the two blushes look very similar. They're both very kind of reddish berry colors which do look beautiful but I just feel like if I'm gonna pay $85 for a face palette there needs to be more variety to it. Same with the elephant one. This is the one that is supposed to be more for medium skin tones. Both of the blushes in here also look quite similar. Now the deep version, the tiger one, this one actually looks to be the most versatile to me. Both of the blushes in here are very different. One is more warm and bronzy, one is more rosy. Then you have three different strobing powders, which are really like kind of metallic highlight sort of powders, and then one finishing powder. So I think personally the deep one looks the best in terms of just the versatility and the bang for your buck because you're getting some some real variety in there but the other two just seem a little underwhelming to me so i hope that i was able to help save you some money in this video and talk you out of some of these new releases if you guys enjoyed this style of video let me know and i can do more in the future but otherwise i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already love to see you again soon and hopefully i will talk to you in my next video bye